one thing I noticed that was devastating to every caregiver was the moment that whomever they're taking care of looks at them and says, who are you? And that is just devastating. That is a defining moment of, uh, of sadness for the caregiver. It just takes everything away. I started off as her nanny 33 years ago. She's my best friend. She's like my sister. And it was hard because Annabelle was very, is there something wrong with my memory? Do you think there's something wrong with my, my memory? And I, I honestly thought she was so stressed out because she had a lot, I mean, Mr. Bolin was, had Alzheimer's and he was ill. Tammy was 49 at the time and you're in shock. There's a little bit of denial. I thought she would want to know all she could find out about the disease, what treatments there were, what medicines and stuff, and, and she wanted none of that. She just wanted to live life. They were the epitome of health, and I just think, how is that possible? I just want her to be happy, and I'll be there with her until, until the very end. The stress, the emotional stress, is tremendous. In my book, I use the term, no good deed goes unpunished. Things like this, you're dressing them on the bed at night, and Tammy starts to hit me. And my first thought is, I have done all this for you, and you're beating me, and, hit, and, then, and then you stop and think, it's not her. She didn't do this. She was who she was 10 years ago. She would drive here every single day, and one day she called one of her daughters and couldn't find her way home. Five years into the disease, Tammy and I, we made a decision to sell our house and I was able to find a location that had uh, independent, assisted, and memory care all in one three-story building. But around that were 81 cottages that you could live and own and be part of before the ultimate need for T Tammy to go into a memory care unit. So when Tammy moved into the memory care unit for 24-7 care, we were warned by the Alzheimer's Association and others that when you move somebody with dementia or Alzheimer's, a dramatic move like that, their health can decline significantly. And Tammy did that. She began falling more, and then within two months, she went from standing and somewhat being able to feed herself to being in a wheelchair, incontinent, couldn't feed herself, and couldn't speak. She lived for four years in memory care in spite of what the decline could have been for her until COVID hit. Unfortunately, I got COVID, and so I was in quarantine, and that began five and a half months where I was unable to go see, touch, hug, do anything with Tammy other than talk to her through FaceTime or see her through a door on, from the outside of the unit. I found another location that uh, with proper PPE, had to mask up and cover up and everything, uh, allowed me to move her there. And in the memory care unit, I was able to begin to see her and feed her again for the last three and a half months of her, her life here. She passed away on November 12th of 2020. Alzheimer's Association was a tremendous help and support. The first thing was education. We could not have done it. We could not have done it without the Alzheimer's Association. We had a, like an all-day little class because we were all like, what do we do? How do we do this? They were a huge help. Their 800 number, I used it frequently just to call and talk to someone, hey, I'm facing this. Many times they gave me help and advice that I took and was very helpful to navigate this difficult situation that you don't even know what's going on or why. We were in a support group that included both the person with the dementia or the Alzheimer's. If there's one thing you do, participate in the walk and donate as a result of that walk. Tammy participated in every single walk up until COVID hit. When they asked her to like cut the ribbon, you know, at the start of the walk, she was so excited. The scissors were like this big. And she loved that. And she loved being able to help raise money where it's needed. So I know it was really important for her, especially with Mr. Bullen having Alzheimer's. I'm good. Um, gosh, I didn't want to, no, I'm good. It's hard, I miss her, but. We still have fun. I got her out of that memory care unit as often as I could. One thing we instituted was date night. Every Sunday night, we must have hit every 
pizza place in Cara Spring. So we would go to Evergreen, and it was a beautiful drive, and we did that every day, and sometimes twice a day. Then we'd have the music playing, and, and just to keep her happy and busy. When you love somebody, and uh, you can still get them to laugh from time to time and to respond to you, those are the moments you live for. I think I wasn't meant to be Annabelle's nanny. I feel like God put me there for, for now, for our grown kids. It's a horrible disease, but we had a good life during that. And you can have a good life, even with Alzheimer's, if you devote yourself to it. Mm -hmm.